Hey, today we have this golf cart. It's a club cart. It's about a 2009 model. It's got the acid, lead acid batteries in it still. Uh, we're going to be replacing it with the lithium ion batteries because right now these batteries are basically shot. Um, so we're going to convert this today to a lithium ion because right now I can't even get up this, this little hill, which is really small. And the batteries just need to be replaced. And instead of investing in lead acid batteries that are going to last maybe three to five years if you're lucky, um, we're going to get a battery in here that's going to maybe last 10, 15 years or more. So uh, stay tuned and let's get started. So like I said, we're in the golf cart right now and let's see if we can even get up this hill. And <laughs> you can just see we're going really slow right now. And yep, now we're really, yeah, so these batteries just need to be replaced. We're going to go in reverse here and we're going to go into our workshop and let's get this uh, job going. So we can replace these batteries and hopefully improve our performance in this golf cart. We're going to be pulling into our shop here so we can get this replaced. We already have our lithium ion batteries here, which is just a single battery. We already got the charger out of it. So I like this kit because it comes with the battery, it comes with the charger, it comes with our little battery monitor, which we can actually mount to the front here so we know the status of our battery, which is an awesome add-on. It even gives you the strap. Um, so you can strap it down because when we take these lead acid batteries out, it's going to be a lot smaller space, right? So we're going to want to strap it down so it's not moving anywhere. Of course, it comes with the little protective connectors for the uh, negative and plus. Another cool thing is this smart battery LCD monitor that gets plugged into the side of the battery here. And, it sh and when you turn it on, you got to hold the power button on until it shows up. Once you turn it on, you can go through these different pages and it tells you all these different stats. If it's charging, if and like the status, the temperature, I mean, it really gives you a lot of different information on here, which is really neat. Uh, two additional things you might need. This kit cut gives you pretty much everything besides two things. You're gonna want something like this that gives you a plug, so then you can potentially plug this charger into your golf cart, and that charger will be sitting kind of like over here, and then your battery there. And what that's going to do is we're going to replace this plug, which is the that old uh, charging plug, with that plug. So then you can just take an extension cord and then plug it right into your golf cart so it's easier access. So you're not having to open up the lid and uh, take an extension cord, plug everything in. You know, it makes it a lot easier when you already have the plug on the outside. And then the other thing you're going to need is a 36 volt, 48 volt to 12 volt down converter. And what this is going to allow you to do is because this battery is 48 volts, and that's the other thing you got to worry about is some golf carts have four batteries, some have three, some have six. So you got to know what you have. So this is a 48 volt because you got four 12 volt batteries times 12 volt by four. That's 48 volts, right? So you got to make sure you're getting the right battery because some ba golf carts are 36 volts, right? And this one's uh, 48. So we got 48 volt battery. That's one thing you need to check for. And then um, also you need a down converter because you might have lights, you might have something else that's running on 12 volt. So you gotta get a, a down converter so you can use that 48 volt battery and connect a 12 volt appliance. Like for example, we have lights that are underneath the golf cart. That's why we have this 12 volt battery here. And who knows, something else might be running on 12 volts. You want to, uh, we have the USB ports, that's what it was. Um, the USB ports that need uh, 12 volt. So we need to make sure that can be connected to our golf cart as well. And uh, now the big job is to go ahead and disconnect the old batteries out of here. So we're gonna remove our seat. I already removed the mat down here, which is uh, not hard to come up. And which is a couple of screws here on the side. We're removing that mat. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off and let's go ahead and start disconnecting the batteries. All right, so we're gonna remove our seat out of our way. That to the side. And we're gonna need some ratchets so we can go ahead and start removing all these battery terminals off all the batteries. We got our socket set out. We are ready to start disconnecting the battery. Now, before we do that, it's very important to do this first. Before you disconnect everything, we want to switch our uh, mode here from run to tow. And what that does, it's going to cut the power for the motor, different safety features. It'll cut power for everything up here. It's just a safety precaution, especially if we're going to be removing the power and everything. Switching the tow mode, that will just better protect the electronics and the controller and the equipment on this golf cart. Now that is done, we can go ahead and start disconnecting all the batteries. All right, so we got all of our terminals uh, disconnected from each of the batteries. Now you should have two wires left. Um, you got your positive going right to the controller and then you should also have 
a negative one, which is right here. So like I said, you should have a negative and then you have another one coming out of here that's gonna be your positive. So make sure you leave those two wires in. Then you should have another smaller red one and then another one that we need to, looks like we need to cut and remove and put a eye hole on. And that's gonna be your negative 12 volt connectors. So the next step for us to do is to go ahead and remove the actual batteries out of here so we can get that new one in here. All right, so if you're having a hard time trying to get these batteries out, which they don't give you a lot of room, so even if you're getting your hands in there, it's kind of hard. If you have a bungee cord, you can hook it on to opposite side of each other, and then you can use these hooks, basically hold on to the hook and, and pull it up. Don't pull it on by the elastic, but just hook it. It'll give you a good hook, so you can hook it onto that top part, and then you can lift the battery out then. So that's just an idea for you to help get these batteries out of here for you. All right, so once we got all the batteries out of here, you can see we got some debris in here. This is probably a good time before we start putting that new battery in here is to clean some of this stuff up. And then you can also see we have this piece of plastic here where we might need to use some kind of tool to shave that down so then the battery can just lay down here flat. So we're gonna try to find something like that. And this is also where we're gonna put that um, outlet at. So we're might gonna have to cut these wires and tape them up and remove this out so then we can put in our new uh, device. So we were looking at getting this installed first since this is going to be one of the first steps we're going to have to do to convert this. And we realized that this is a pain in the butt to remove because to get this out of here, we're going to have to take this whole panel off in order to get access to these screws that keep it in place. So instead of ripping that out and also making the hole bigger because it's not big enough to put this in it, when your golf cart might be different, but this one in our case, that's what it is. So what we're doing now is we're gonna get a two, uh, two inch uh, hole saw here and we're gonna actually drill a hole right here. So it's actually closer so you can just plug right in and that's what we're doing to then get this installed. Look at that nice snug fit. Now we can go ahead and screw that in and that'll be our new charging port. All right, there we go. We got our last screw in. Now this is all mounted and in place. Now we got this ran, now we can use this to then plug in our power to charge the battery once we get our battery in here. All right, so now we're gonna use a tool like this, which is awesome because it's usually meant for trim and doing things in the house, but we're gonna use it to basically go underneath this to remove this middle uh, plastic part here so then we can lay that battery down flat. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, so if you don't have one of these tools, I suggest you get it because that made our lives so much easier. You can see now this is nice and flat down here and it's about 10 inches across, which is about the width of that battery. So we can go ahead and remove these pieces out of here and now we can slide in that new battery. All right, this is really working out great, you guys. The battery fit perfect here and it's right snug against this wall. So that'll help it keep it from shifting back and forth. And you can see there's brackets down there from keeping it from shifting. But we still probably wanna install that safety strap just to protect it from bouncing and sliding this way. So we might go from here over there or we'll figure out something for that. Uh, but now, if you want to, you can go ahead and hook into your negative and your positive and see if your golf cart works. We did ours already earlier and it works, so we know we're okay. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up now that cool battery meter. So we're gonna run the cable for that. So that's where we took our man off. So then we can run the wire along here and we can mount that up here. But I suggest maybe mount it in here or up here just so it's protected from the weather. So let's go ahead and start on that. So we're looking at our parts. Here's that monitor that we were just talking about. We're gonna grab this. And like I said, you can mount it wherever you like. We're gonna probably mount ours right here just so it's out of the weather and protected from the elements, which is a great idea. And then we're gonna run the wire behind here, underneath and under this uh, crossboard here. We have our smart battery meter mounted. We drilled a hole here. We fished the wire through. We removed the control panel, which is two screws on either side. You can see there are these giant uh, hex screws here. And there's a small one on top here that you have to remove. That comes down and then we wired, and then we ran the wire through here, down underneath, underneath this board. And then you come out from here and then we connect it into our battery here. So now that the meter is hooked up, we put our safety strap on and what's nice is there's these metal rods down here. We actually went underneath and up. There was one right underneath the battery. So that's how we're securing this down. We're ready to go in and put in the charger, which is gonna be mounted here. We're gonna to try to use that same loop method that we did for the battery to try to keep it secured. And then we can't forget 
to install that 36 volt and 48 volt down converter to 12 volts. So we're gonna mount that somewhere in here and connect that to the battery so then we can hook up our 12 volt accessory items as well to it. All right, we got our charger nice and screwed down and mounted. It was nice because it actually had the screw holes there so you could actually screw that into your base. We're gonna go ahead and route our charging cable and everything to the battery. So then you can hook up the battery and it'll charge once we plug it all in here. So you can see we have it plugged in for power here. Make sure that's nice and snug. You might wanna put some electrical tape on this. And since this one has two power cords, you might wanna tape this over just so debris doesn't get in there and cause issues. Um, but this is looking good. All right, so like I said, we're wiring the converter down converter right now. We've already put our connectors on the, on the ends. Make sure you do a good crimper, get some good connectors, and then it uh, heat shrinks them onto the wire so it stays nice and protected. And we've got our wires coming from the battery to this, and then we'll hook up our 12 volt uh, appliances and our USB ports to this so then they can be powered. All right, we're looking good, you guys. We got the charger mounted, that's connected. We got our battery hooked up. What I like to do on the battery is you got the two thick cables, right? You got the big negative going to the motor and the charge controller. Same thing with the positive. These big ones, make sure you put at the very bottom, closest to the battery terminal. I recommend that just because there's so much load and so much power getting pulled from these cables. Put the lower, smaller ones towards the top and the bigger ones towards the bottom. Just recommended. Um, so you see we got our charge controller power hooked up. We have our negative and positive that goes to this, which goes to our charge controller. And then we got our negative and positive running over to our down converter for our voltage from 48 volts to 12 volts so we can plug in our lights and maybe let's say we got some usb ports on our golf cart you know that's where you want to plug that into that down controller because you don't want to hook it directly to your 48 volts because it's going to fry a couple things so you can see if we power on our usb you can see we're getting 12 volts and that's coming directly from our down converter so we know that's working and getting us 12 volts and it's also recommended for me at least, I would put fuses on all of our positive lines. So you see we got a fuse here, we got a fuse here for all of our 12 volt things. Wraps it up pretty much you guys. We're gonna go ahead and put our mat back in, organize some of these wires, zip tie some things away. But I mean, everything's pretty secure and, and screwed down. We did put black tape on our connectors here and just in case if water gets in here, you can see all of our connectors have black tape on them to protect that from the weather and if rain or water get into this compartment. One thing to think about while we're doing this upgrade to our golf cart is that you're gaining so much more power, but you're also gaining so much more speed because of the weight of these lead acid batteries are like super heavy. One of these lead acid batteries is about the same weight as this one lithium ion battery. So keep that in mind when we're upgrading this, that you're also going to be losing a lot of weight to the golf cart. So it's also going to improve speed that way as well. All right, now the moment of truth, you guys. Once we got everything, our mat in, everything looking pretty clean and organized, we got our seat back in. We gotta go ahead and flip on that um, travel mode to run mode. As soon as that hits, hopefully things start powering up. Uh, I just saw the battery light come on there. That's a good indicator. Let's turn this on, make sure that works. There we go. You can see our small battery is connected and working. That's great. Now let's go ahead and flip this on and see if we get, oh, Hey, look at that. And if you just saw before, this was flashing on the E when those bad uh, lead acid batteries were in. So let's go ahead and turn on our 12 volt. All right, we got our USB looking, everything's lit up and working, perfect. Our lights, awesome. Now let's go ahead and put this thing in reverse and let's see what happens. I'll just turn the 12 volt off because I don't need that on right now. Hey, we're moving. Oh, I love this when things just work. <laughs> look at that, we're moving out. Oh man, this scene's quick. Wow, I, I love this scene. It actually shows discharging when you're moving. If I stop, it would actually go and switch back to standby mode. That's pretty cool. So it actually knows when the battery's getting drained on the golf cart. Oh, oh yeah, uh, I have no problem getting up that hill now. It looks like this was a success, you guys. I hope you can do this to your golf cart and get your power back and get away from those lead acid batteries because lithium ion batteries is the way to go now. All right, now that we know the golf cart runs and everything's good, our final test is to make sure our charger will work when we plug it in. So just take any kind of outlet, as long as you did what I did, and we can pull that down, plug this in, 
and go open up our compartment to make sure our, yep, I can see the light turning on there on the side. You can see it flashing red and green. That means it's charging. And then also the fan's kicking on and that means that's all working. So there you guys have it. You're all done and you can have fun with your golf cart now that you got a brand new battery in it. So a little bit about the smart battery LCD. We have our power plugged in. You can see it detects that it's charging the battery percent and you can see it 16 minutes till time till it gets full. So that's pretty cool because it tells you when it's charging, it tells you when it's getting discharged when you're driving, and then also it shows you when it's in standby mode when it's not moving at all and there's no power being drained. So this is a very intuitive, pretty smart display here. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope this video was helpful.